I started to learn Unreal Engine 5 five years ago and I purchased tons of paid tutorials. I watched maybe thousands of different videos about Unreal Engine in YouTube and, and I learned a lot. Then I realized I could learn so much efficient and so much faster with a better way if I would do those before. When I decided to use Unreal, there was some few tutorials on the YouTube and just there was an Unreal documentation that you can learn. You could read the documentation or you could watch that uh, video tutorials which made with the worst microphone ever. Those things was not the greatest way to learn it. Thanks now, in the YouTube there's a thousands of different Unreal Engine videos, there's a so much skilled and talented people making videos and I'm also learning from them too. All those videos are free, but you can get some paid courses too from different platforms and most of them are good. But those courses was the first mistake I made when I was learning Unreal. When you started to use Unreal and you want to learn it, you're just checking the courses and you probably want to buy the widest one, the longest hour one, and because you're thinking you can learn much better and you can learn much more. But technically, it is not true and those courses are not gonna help to you. Here's why. I purchased some of courses from various websites, as all you know, and some of them were good and some of them were okay. But the real problem is most courses are for beginners or they're not helpful for the people who want to make much more small games. If I would start to learn today, I wouldn't buy the, the general 50 hour FPS course or 20 hours adventure game course because I believe they're so generic, they're not niche and they're not helpful for the people who really want to make games. If you don't know anything about Unreal Engine, yes, those big courses can helpful a lot in the beginning, but if you already know a bit of how to use it and if you can do some little stuff, I believe you should go for more niche courses because those niche courses can help you for the genre you want to make. Check the most niche courses can help you. Mostly shorter ones, it is important for the beginning because if the code is shorter, it is way easier to finish it because most of people not finishing the courses they purchased. And also check who made the course. For example, in ArtStation, there's a lot of great courses that I checked and there was made by real game developers or game artists, which is a huge thing for you when you're learning. Also, before the courses, when you started to learn Unreal Engine, you, you should choose your path. This is the second thing I made a mistake. If you're not gonna make a, your own game, or if you don't want to be your own publisher and make game as much as, as like you want, I will don't suggest anyone to learn everything. If you want to work on the AAA industry or in general, if you want to be a professional game developer, designer or an artist, you should focus on that specific task and specific role that you want to be participating with. Because the game company is just asking a professionals on that area. You don't have to learn everything. But if you're going to make your own games, of course, it is crucial to know more than one thing and probably you should have more than one skill. You should code, you should draw your own graphics maybe, or you should 3D model your own meshes. For example, I have chosen to be my own publisher and I want to make my own games. That's why I'm trying to learn everything and this is, takes that much long. But if your focus is be in the industry, just focus on your area and be professional about that. Do not try to learn everything. When I started to learn, I wasn't aware of that. Just knowing one thing professionally doesn't make you good at another thing. Yes, it can help, but for example, I want to make a great scene and I will shoot a good cinematic inside it. Should just I learn Unreal and be good at it? Is it enough? No. Technically, I need to learn so much thing if I want to make from scratch or if I just want to customize it. For example, let's say we got so many 3D models and we're gonna put those into the scene, but I want to change some stuff. What that means, that means I need to learn maybe some Painter, maybe Blender or Autodesk Maya, so I can customize those models, I can change their textures, the way of they looking, or 
I want to put some sounds so it's gonna make more moody of the scene and those are different skills so if I want to make one good thing I need to know various things as an indie developer designer or filmmaker but in the first I was so focused on the Unreal Engine so I didn't check the other stuff I knew a bit 3D modeling but I'm using Substance apps for last two years, so that's why I wish I could learn much before, so I could make more better textures, for example. But those are general things. And there's also theory side, which is if you're beginning, if you're in the beginning, you should focus on that for my opinion. What are those? The color theory, how you can use colors, adjust the colors of the scene so you can give the mood or how lightning works, how you can create a path with lighting in the game or in the cinematic to show something to the audience. And the other thing is how you can trick the audience. For example, one of the William Fancher's videos, he using a big black box to cut off the old lights coming from the back of the camera. So it is giving more moody and more blackish image which is creating more realistic content, right? Those kind of tricks are pretty important and you should know how to do those. So to do those, you need to know how lightning works, basically. There's also one thing I wish I knew it is so important when I'm creating scene in the beginning. It is for mostly level designers, the blockout. I wish I could know that blackout is that much important and that much useful. What is blackout? It is basically gray boxing that you putting so simple meshes into the scene and you creating a general reference image. So after that, if you like the general image, you can replace those meshes with better ones with good textures so you can create the final scene. You should definitely check out what is blockout. But before the blockout, there's also another thing is so important, which is reference images. You probably saw a lot of tutorial. They are getting some images from the web, from Pinterest and stuff. They're putting into the ProRef and they're creating a reference table. You might think they're doing it because it looks professional, but it's not, it's helping a lot. So before doing an, any scene or any level, make sure that you find so many reference image as much as you can from the web so you can have a general idea how it should look because brain can forget. There's also coding side. In the coding side, as you know, you can use two different languages in the Unreal Engine. One of them is Blueprint Visual Scripting and another is our old friend C++. I have studied cinematography, so I'm not so used to mathematical side and algorithm side of the coding. So those concepts was not so easy for me at the beginning, but in time, with some wrong and true ways, I kind of learned and I'm still learning. If you're good at math in school, and if you're familiar with physics and math concepts, it can be much more easier to you when you're starting. Normally I was going to put a sponsor in here, but it didn't happen, so. I started with Unity and I was using C Sharp when I started and I think C-sharp is much easier to learn and use inside of it. But if you're just going to use Unreal, I wouldn't recommend working with Blueprint at first. Most of tutorials are Blueprint, I know it, but I wouldn't suggest you to start with Blueprint. Why? Because Blueprint is a visual scripting language and I believe if you start with Blueprint, you cannot understand the how algorithm works how general coding works that math and coding logic is something else than the normal thinking of in the normal life so as like i said if you're not familiar with logic do not start with a visual script yes it is easier to do something but when you go further and you want to make more complex thing you're gonna get struggle by of those problems that you cannot handle it but also i understand c sharp C++ is not for everyone and it is pretty hard sometimes to learn it. So that's why Epic Games right now developing the verse language, which they are going to use in Unreal Engine 6. It will be much easier, but it will be powerful as much as C++. So what will I do if I cannot learn C++? 
if I shouldn't start with Blueprint, what I'm gonna do, right? I will suggest you to use an, another language for basic programming. You could start with C Sharp because it's easier to write because of the syntax. And there are also so many tutorials that you can learn. I wouldn't start with something like Python because Python is not used for so much from game developers and most of game engines doesn't use Python. So if you don't want to start with C Sharp and other game engines, okay, you st still can learn C++. But before you start to learn C++, just start with basic coding classes, basic algorithm and math. I'm not joking, just open the YouTube and find some algorithm classes and math for game developers maybe, and you can understand the concept much better when you're writing the code. Because if you don't understand the general algorithm of this, writing code will be so hard for you. When you close the tutorial, when you started to type your own, it will be so hard and you will just like stop in front of your keyboard and you will think what I'm going to do. My last regret about I wish I knew sooner when I was starting is I wish I could know how to read documentation and how to use Google. You might think, what? You don't know how to use Google? Yes, I know how to type something, I know how to search something, and I know how to go to Google Images, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about using Google properly is something else, and people thinking documentation is for big nerds, but actually it is not. If you're in the professional side of this thing, you know how to use documentation, how to read documentation, because those documentation made by developers who made the engine or any apps you're using, so they know everything about it. And so technically you can find the best answers in this documentation. I know it's kind of boring, but you must use to learn, you must use to read documentation. Today, thanks to technology, we have AI. For example, if you have an ChatGPT, you could put the documentation to the ChatGPT and you can ask some questions. It is much easier way it is much easier way to do it maybe, but still try to read it. About searching, you know how to use some keywords when searching something because you might get some similar results that what you're asking for, but the if you searching something so niche, it is probably not that much niche and someone probably had that problem before. So try to type with some strong keywords in your sentence so you can get much more better results. Today's video was about my regrets and I wish I could know sooner before I started to learn Unreal Engine. I hope you liked the video. If you have more regrets like me when you're starting, if you had more regrets like me before when you started to use Unreal Engine, please write a comment down below. I'm going to read them all. Also, liking the video and subscribing to the channel helping me a lot. I would be happy if you do that too. Until the next video, see you all. I hope you all think great works.